hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial so in today's video we are going to be recreating a pattern for this pinafore jumpsuit i was supposed to make a cutting and sewing tutorial at once but i noticed that the video is too long uh the explanation i need to put it in details for you to understand exactly what i did so uh in that case i'm going to split this video into two parts okay part one here is going to be the pattern drafting tutorial and then the part two is going to be the cutting and sewing and introducing the fabric that i'm going to use and the things that you need to recreate this jumpsuit to come to life okay so if this is something that you are interested on keep on watching um, if you are seeing my channel for the first time you are welcome my name is julia rag and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome and if you're yet on my channel and you're yet to subscribe please subscribe support me by subscribing liking my video and also help me share the video so that other people can also watch it as well okay because that is the only way you are supporting me on okay let's get into it okay guys so we are going to begin now with the tutorial so uh i have my pattern paper here okay it's not on code i have my pattern paper here and uh, the length was not enough so i have to add uh, additional length so that it can be enough for my trouser length so and uh, here is my multi-purpose french curve ruler and my tape and two in one uh, marker pen that we are going to use for this tutorial today okay so uh, i have already marked my waistline and uh, i marked some few inches by the side here this line straight line is going to serve as a guideline okay so the next thing i'm going to do now we're going to start now by drafting our base. so now the first pattern that we're going to draft now is the front pattern and before i will continue i'm going to be considering my waistband okay before taking any measurement the vertical measurement i'm going to be considering my waistband my waistband is going to be 1.125 okay and then my elastic is one inch so i'm adding 0 0.25 for ease allowance for my elastic to move around inside the band so before i will start i'm going to place my my tape rule 1.125 above my waistline before taking my crouch length okay the first measurement i'm going to be taking down now is the length of my crouch and if you haven't seen the tutorial where i treat about how you calculate your crouch i'm going to be leaving the link on the description box so that you can go and watch it and know how to calculate your crouch measurement okay so right now i have uh, marked out my crouch length i'm going to label it c so the next measurement i'm going to be taking now is the um, is the new length okay i'm going to place my tape again 1.125 above before marking the length of my nail which is 20 inches as you can see on the screen okay um i'm going to mark my 20 inches here and i will repeat this line twice so that i can have a straight line connecting my nail line okay so the next measurement i'm going to be taking is my uh pants length so my pants length is going to be 41 inches so at this point take your measurement be sure of your measurement don't use my measurement unless if you are the same size with me okay then you can use my measurement so i'm repeating this measurement twice so that i can have a straight line uh, connecting my pants length okay so now that i'm done taking out the vertical measurement the next thing i'm going to be marking now is my horizontal measurement which is my round hip circumference divided by four my hip is 40 divided by four is 10 inches i mark the 10 inches at my crouch line also at my waistline all right remember that the pants we are making is elastic waistband okay so you don't need to uh, contour anything from the waistline more by imputing your quarter of your waist circumference so from there i impute my my hip length okay from my waist to my hip length is 10 inches so i just mark it there h represent hip line okay so the next thing now we're going to work on the crowd so i'm going to be dividing my quarter of my waist hip circumference by four so that i can get the my crouch extension okay so i'm going to be dividing it into four so what i got here is uh 2.5 inches 
so that that would be the length of my crouch uh, extension okay that's the front crouch extension i will just mark it there so the next thing here i'm going to come to the hip line i will mark 0 0.25 inward okay or out outer part and then i extend this line so move back to the crouch line there i'm going to place my tape this way and mark uh, 1.125 outward like that okay So now that I'm done marking that, I'm going to get my French curve rule. I will target those points that I mark and then I'm going to connect my uh, cuff, connect my crouch extension like that. So now that I'm done from this part, the next thing now I'm going to find out the midpoint between it here and the, the side, um, yeah, the side line. I don't know if you understand this. So I'm going to fold my tape into two and then I mark the midpoint there. I got uh, 6.25. So I'm going to be marking that 6.25 at my nail line. And then at the middle line also 6.25. At the hem line also 6.25. I will get my long steel ruler and connect all these points to create a crease line. This crease line is also going to be a guideline for me to take other measurement or whatever thing I'm going to do. So my pants length is going to be, I want the, the width of it, okay? On fold, I want it to be at 10. So I'm dividing that 10 inches into two again, okay? So I got five inches. As you can see, I'm marking the five inches on in between the straight line that I marked, okay? So five inches on both sides. So right now I got 10 in total, all right? So the next thing I will do, I'm going to connect, uh, come to the hemming line. I'm going to mark that 10 inches also. So I will still divide it again, five in the other side and also five in this side, okay? So basically that is it. So the next thing I will do, I will just connect those dots together with a straight line. Just watch and see how I'm connecting it, okay? So guys, basically what I'm actually, I'm, we are doing or what I'm doing here is to, is um, a, a pant block, okay? It's a basic pattern block for pant. So after this part here, then I will now alter it to a straight leg or a white leg pant or palazzo pant or any shape of the pants that you want to. So this is how you get away, from, um, you draft out your a basic pattern block okay so now that i'm done from this part here the next thing now i'm going to create a straight pan for doing that i want to have it a little bit fitted at my hip start right so i came down by two inches from the side and then from the inseam i'm marking uh, 1.5 inches okay so i will, I will get my uh, my straight ruler now uh please watch and see where i'm placing it okay from where I mark the two inches, I'm going to place it there, connect it from that point all the way to the point where I mark the uh, the width of my pant, okay? And the same thing I'm going to do from this side. I will just connect it with the straight ruler all the way to me to the point where I connect it at first, okay? So this is how it's going to look like. So in this case, it's not going to look fitted at your new line. It's going to look a, a bit all, uh, straight all the way down. All right. But it's going to be a bit fitted at your hip line. So now that I'm done from this part now, the next thing now, we are going to be drafting the upper bodies. First, first thing I need to add my swing allowance. I'll be adding swing allowance of 0 0.5 inch on both sides. Both the crouch, uh, crouch line and the side line and the inseam, I'm adding 0 0.5 inch allowance. So since I is my personal use, I already know my size. I'm not, I'm hundred percent sure about my measurement. So I'm adding 0 0.5 inch allowance for sewing. But if you are making this for a customer, I will advise you to add more than. 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance so that in case if it's if he it, if it's not uh, if it didn't fit your client then you have the opportunity to reshape it okay you can reshape it or yeah basically 
But if you know them, if you know that you took the measurement uh, accurate, then you can add 0 0.5 inch allowance for your joining allowance. Okay. So to my waistline also, I added uh, 0 0.5 inch allowance. Okay. So right now, the next thing I will do now, I will cut the this pattern off so that I can use it to uh, cut out the back pattern. So basically, you don't need to do much for the back. I will just show you real quick on what you need to do to the back, okay? I hope you understand this explanation. I hope I hope you were able to follow up with this uh, explanation. And uh, let me know on the comment section if there is anything that you you find it difficult on, okay? So right now, I have a fresh pattern right here underneath my front pattern, okay? So I'm pinning my front pattern to the fresh pattern that I, ha I had underneath, okay? So that I can trace out the, uh, the lines and create my back pattern. There is nothing serious, there is nothing so special about the back pattern. It's just for you to place the front pattern underneath the fresh pattern. So once I'm done uh, pinning it down, I'm going to trace out the crouch line and also the new line, okay? I'm tracing this two line out because this is the most important line that I needed basically for the back. Next, I'm going to be marking my uh, back crouch extension. Okay, I have two inches right here and the total length I, I need for my back crouch extension is four inches. So I'm just going to start the counting uh, from the center front line, okay? That straight line, that is where I started from. So I, I marked it out, okay? So I'm going to connect this line now, okay? Just watch and see. I'm going to place my French cuff like this to meet to the point of, uh, to my new line, okay? So I was supposed to add 0 0.5 inch at this point, but since I already add 0 0.5 inch on my front pattern, I will just use that as a guideline and connect it like so. So next, I will get my long steel roller and I will connect it from that new line again all the way to the end of my pants, okay? So I will connect it from the hemming line and meet up to the new length, uh, the new line, okay? So now that I'm done from those part now, the next thing I will do, I'm going to extend this line out so that I will add my sewing allowance. So my sewing allowance, I'm adding a 0 0.5 inch allowance, okay? And also to the uh, crouch extension, I'm adding 0 0.5 inch. So I will just trace it from, you know, the front pattern already carries the sewing allowance, okay? So I'm just going to trace it like so. So right now, I'm just cutting out all the parts that I don't need. So now that I've done, I'm going to unpin this. So the front and the back pattern is ready. So the next thing we are going to do now is to draft the upper bodies, okay? So first you will need a fresh pattern. So I've already gone ahead to draw up my uh, starting point, which is, is my shoulder line. So we are, I'm going to be imputing my vertical measurement. From my shoulder to my bust line is 9.5 inches. And I'll repeat this line twice so that I'll have a straight line. Next, I'm going to be taking from my shoulder to my waistline or from my shoulder to my half bodies. Okay, my front uh, half bodies is going to be 15 and the back is going to be 14.5 inches. Okay, so you need to take find out where uh, the measurement from your shoulder to your waistline at the back. Know how many inches it is. So you use it to create your back bodies, okay? So now that I've done now, the next thing I'm going to do, I wanted to impute my shoulder measurement. I totally uh, forgot that <laughs> this pattern doesn't need the sleeve. So I'm going to move on to my bust line here. Um, you can determine how high you want the coverage to be the from the upper part, okay? The pinafore, I don't know how high you want yours to be. Mine are... I'm marking 2.5 inches, okay? 
so that is how high i want the coverage to be so i will just connect this line to create my new chest line so this is my chest line okay so now the next measurement is going to be my horizontal measurement across my chest measurement is 11 inches divided by 2 is going to be 5.5 inches okay i'm going to mark the 5.5 inches here and uh, guys there is some um, correction i did i will be showing you when i get up over that point okay so from my waistline i'm dividing my part of my waist circumference by two is a 3.5 then i added 0 0.5 inch to it so that means it's four inches that i marked okay so the next i will be adding my sewing allowance which is 0 0.5 inch round okay So to the chest line, upper part 0 0.5 inch, the lower part 0 0.5 inch, okay? And then always remember that you are going to be cutting this on fold. So that is what I'm just going to indicate here. Cut it on fold, okay? And this is the front pattern. So the next, uh, the next is going to be my back pattern. So I'll first of all cut this off so that we can work on the back. So I have a fresh pattern paper here for my back pattern i will be marking my bust line okay from my shoulder to my bust line like i did to the front i'm going to be marking the 9.5 inches and i will repeat this line twice so that i will have a straight line okay so my back uh, from my shoulder to my waistline from the back is 14.5 inches please find out how many inches you have from your uh from your shoulder to your waistline at the back when you take the measurement from the back okay i have exactly 14.5 inches here so i'm just going to come to my bust line i will mark 1.5 inches upward because the back is shorter than the front okay so i mark uh, 1.5 inches away from my bust line up just like you see me doing okay so right now i will just mark um i will be marking five inches here from the back okay and then i will mark it four inches from the lower part so the next thing now i will just connect it like so and afterward i will add my sewing allowance just like i did to the front okay i'm extending this line up so that i can be able to uh add my sewing allowance So I'm also going to indicate at the center back here that you need to be cut on fold. Don't cut it on pieces because there is no zip allowance here, okay? Please don't make mistake to split this on uh, into two. It's only just uh, one piece on fold, okay? So this is my back pattern. And the next thing I will just cut out the unwanted part. So the correction I said I'm going to be making is from the front, okay? I noticed that the width of my uh, across my chest is wider so i will be marking 0 0.75 away from the uh, 5.5 inches that i marked earlier okay so i will connect it like so please pay attention if you don't understand my explanation just pay attention and see what i'm doing to the paper okay so right now i'm adding back my sewing allowance which is 0 0.5 inches okay 0 0.5 inch and then i will get my straight ruler i will place it to the part where my joining allowance is start from the lower part okay and connect it like so and after then i will just cut this part off so i have done with the correction so the next thing now we are going to be working on the pockets so now let's draft the pockets and the pocket flap okay i have a fresh paper here this straight line is a guideline for me so from this straight line now, I'm going to be marking five inches, okay? I will be marking five inches at this line. So I will mark five inches and also I will repeat this measurement twice so that we'll have a straight line, okay? So I'm going to get my straight ruler and I will connect this point, okay? I'll connect these dots together to have a straight line so the width of my pocket is going to be six inches okay in total so this straight line in between it just as a guideline i will mark three inches at the side 
and also three inches by the other side okay so i'm going to come to the lower part i'm also going to mark the three inches on both sides okay so it's six inches in total i will just divide it into two to mark the three inches on both sides and the next thing i will just connect it with a straight ruler to have a square box okay so now that i have this square box i'm going to come to the midpoint okay from that uh, straight line rather um i'm going to mark um i'm, I'm marking 0 0.5 inch upward and then i'm marking now uh, 1.75 up okay i'm marking 1.75 upward from the side and i mark uh, 0 0.5 inch upward from the middle line okay and then i will just connect it like so do you understand this right you mark 0 0.5 inch up from the middle line and then from the side by side you're going to mark 1.75 upward okay and then you're going to use your curve rule or you use your free hand to connect this line to, like so okay so the next thing i'm going to do after that i'm going to extend this line out so that i can add my sewing allowance okay so the next thing i will add my 0 0.5 inch joining allowance by side by side okay So the length of my pocket, the length is 4.5 inches and the width is 6 inches. All right. So I'm extending all this line up so that I can add my sewing allowance. So basically that is what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to switch to the lower part. I'm just going to place my tape. Sorry that the paper was out of the camera. So you could not see what I was doing. Okay. So... Pardon me on this point. So next, I'm just going to fold this paper like so, okay? So that I can just cut it out to have everything equal, have the line equal. Because sometimes when you try to create um, the pattern or create the curve, it may not be equal to the other side that you created, okay? So what I'm just doing here is just going to align the curves together, okay? So whatever thing I'm doing here like this, it's also going to show on the other part that I did not create add allowance to, okay? So don't worry about not adding allowance on the other side. So let me open it up. So this is how it's looking like, okay? As you can see, the sewing allowance appear on the other side, right? So the next thing now, we're going to be working on the flap, the pocket flap, okay? So remember the width of the pocket itself is 6 inches, okay? So you're going to use that same weight to create the flap. The length of my pocket flap is going to be um, a total of 1.5 inches at the end of the day. Okay, that's the length. The width remains 6 inches. So I have this paper here. I just draw a straight line. I'm going to be marking 3 by 3 on both sides just like I did to the pocket. Okay, so I will mark uh, 3 inches. Rather, I'm going to mark 4 inches. I'm going to mark four inches upward like so i will repeat this measurement twice so that i will have a straight line so this straight line is going to serve as a guideline okay just remember just the way i did to the pocket itself and the same thing i'm doing to the pocket flap okay i will connect this line now with a straight ruler so now I'll come to the uh, the midpoint here i'll repeat this three by three inches on this side okay So the next thing I will do, I will come to the midline. I will be marking 2.5 inches. I later reduce this uh, measurement because I noticed that the pocket flap was too long. So I marked 2.5 inches and uh, I noticed that it's too short. I added uh, 0 0.5 inches, but I later reduced it, okay? So I marked 3 inches and then I marked 2.5 inches below from the side 2.5 inches from the side so i will connect this dot together but then again it was too um it was too the long i later reduced it because this is not the actual length i end up using okay so i connect it up just like you see me doing okay so the the 
the width I reduced from the side is about 0.75 because if you notice, I mark 2.5 inches below, right? But I didn't use the 2.5 inches anymore. I came up by 0.75 before I create that curve and I added my sewing allowance. 0.5 inches, sorry, is 0.5 inches, not 0 0.75, 0.5 inches. I am adding the joining allowance from the lower part, but I later reduced it. Like I said, I reduced it because it was too much. The length was too much. The only way that you will make use of this length, if your pocket is, uh, is bigger, okay, then you can make use of 2.5 inches as the length of the pocket flap but i later reduced i take out i took out the um, the stitching allowance and i end up having 1.5 inches so this is how it's looking like the pocket flap is too long so there is no beauty over there again so i will just take it off so basically that is it for this uh tutorial I hope you learned something from this channel today. I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you'll be able to recreate yours. Please let me know in the comment section if you were able to recreate this. Okay. I will be so glad to get a few back from you. So yeah, that is it for the tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you on the swing to part. Okay. I will see you on part two. <laughs> okay. Yeah.